Welcome to Accounting Corner. In this video, we will uncover the concept of financial metric, EBITDA. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. EBITDA full form is, Earnings Before Interest, Taxes, and Amortization. It is a financial metric that measures business earnings before accounting for interest, taxes, and amortization. It is used to evaluate business operational efficiency and profitability. Here are the key features of this financial metric. EBITDA is used to measure business operating performance. It examines its earnings before considering the effects of interest, taxes, and amortization. It helps investors and analysts assess a business profitability and efficiency by focusing on its core operations. Let's discuss the main aspects, why EBITDA metric is important. It provides comparability. This metric provides insights into business operational efficiency, allowing for comparisons between companies or industries, with different capital structures, tax rates, and levels of intangible assets. It allows cash flow approximation. EBITDA can provide an indication of business cash flow generation, which can be useful for assessing business ability to meet financial obligations or invest in growth opportunities. But bear in mind that here only amortization is excluded. Depreciation, which is also non-cash item, is not excluded from this metric. It is useful for valuing companies, analyzing potential acquisitions, or evaluating business performance over time. The following formula is used to calculate EBITDA. EBITDA equals operating revenue minus operating expenses plus non-operating income minus amortization. Let's explore an example. Suppose a company has the following financial information. Operating revenue, $1 million. Operating expenses, $600,000. Non-operating income, $50,000. Amortization, $20,000. By applying EBITDA formula, let's make calculations based on the given data. In this case EBITDA equals to $430,000. Together with other financial metrics, EBITDA also has its issues and limitations. EBITDA does not consider the cost of capital, which is interest expense. Therefore it can overstate a company's performance if it has high debt levels. It also excludes taxes, which can vary significantly between companies and jurisdictions, leading to misleading comparisons. Amortization is excluded, which can make companies with significant intangible assets appear more profitable than they are. EBITDA is a non-generally accepted accounting principles-based measure. This means it can be calculated differently by different companies, reducing comparability. Let's compare two financial metrics. EBITDA is earnings before interest, taxes, and amortization. EBITDA is earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. When each metric shall be used? EBITDA is used to analyze business core operational profitability, while including the effect of depreciation. It is useful for businesses with substantial intangible assets, allowing investors to focus on the performance of the business tangible operations. EBITDA is a broader measure of profitability that excludes non-operating expenses and non-cash charges like depreciation and amortization. It is commonly used in industries where businesses have significant capital investments and substantial depreciation and amortization expenses. It is also useful for valuation comparisons. We have covered all aspects of EBITDA financial metric. Now you are familiar with this metric, which allows you to understand its concept, practical application, importance, and potential limitations. 
Thank you for watching. Do not miss our new videos. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Just click subscribe button below this video. Let us know what kind of videos you like more. Practical problems or theory explanation. Please leave your comment below the video. Thank you for your comment.